Hi, I'm going to show you how to make a skip pattern or display logic function in Microsoft Access with a form. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a lookup table so we can do this for race. So if someone selects other race, uh, another box pops up. So first thing I'm doing is I'm creating something called a lookup table. And of that, I'm using the races that the Census Bureau provides. And so you can see them all right here. And so what I want to do is if someone clicks on uh, other, I want the new box to appear. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new table. We'll just call it survey. And we'll put race and then we'll do race other. Okay, and I'm going to open this in design view. I'm going to do a few things here. So first, I'm going to make this into long text just in case for some weird reason you want to go more than 255 characters. Now race here, we can make this a numerical value if we want. I'm just going to leave it as text. It doesn't matter. But what we're going to do is we're going to standardize the options. So uh, we have a drop down menu or a combo box as it's called and people can just uh, point and click the response. So we're going to link this to that lookup table we just made. So to do that, we're going to go to lookup right here. And we're going to change text box to combo box. Okay, and row, row source here is going to be lookup table. Okay. Now bound column, that means do we want to store this or do we want to store this? Uh, you could do either. I like to do numbers. It's just quicker and less prone to error. Now column count means what do you want to show up basically in the drop down menu? Do you want this or this? And I think we want this. So we want to show this, but we want to store this. So let's go ahead and make that a two. All right, let's go ahead and make this a zero for the column widths and let's save it. So now when we open this, we'll see this, okay, the drop down box. So let's make our form and it doesn't really matter. So we'll just go to form like this whatever make this a little bit bigger I don't think we really need ID here first thing I like to do though is when you uh, create a new form I like to just go to layout and remove layout so I can move uh, one of these text boxes or or whatever uh, without moving all of them so I'm gonna get rid of ID we don't really need that and I like to set these to uh, standard height. Uh, let's see. Maybe like 0.25 or something. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go, we're going to click on race, right click. We're going to go to properties. And what we're going to do is create an event. So if somebody clicks six or other, uh, we're going to make this appear. So what we're going to do is after it updates, so I clicked on event here, click on these three little dots here. We're going to do a little bit of coding here. Code builder. Okay. So we're going to say if and the ME is for the uh, value in the form. Race equals six N. Race other visible equals true. And then we're going to say N if. Okay, now let's see what happens. 
Actually, before we do that, what we want to do is we want to make this invisible by default. Okay. So let's click on other. Bam, that appears. But we have a problem because we're not seeing the label there. So we've got to go back. So we have to figure out what the label is called. It's called label six. I might recommend changing it to race other label. Now we can just click view code now because we already started uh, an event. Now we can just go to race other label visible equals true. All right, now let's try it. Bam, it shows up. But you might have noticed that we have a problem because when the form loaded, other was already there, but this didn't show up. So there is a way to fix that. So to do that, we need to do this on form current. So basically when this specific case or this survey response or, or person who did it, um, shows up on the screen, basically we wanted to um, show this if this is other. Otherwise we're gonna have that same problem. So what we're gonna do, we'll go to view code here. We can just copy all this. Okay, go to form properties, event, we'll go on current. Same thing, we'll click these three dots, code builder. Let's just paste that right in there. Okay. Now, let's see what happens. Bam, it shows up. Now let's uh, make sure it works. Let's click on something else like uh, refuse to answer. Okay. So we're noticing that it's still there. And so what we got to do is create a scenario where it says, okay, if it's not other, make this disappear. So we're gonna have to go like this. And make these false. We're basically saying like, if race is other or six, make it visible, otherwise make it false or make it invisible. And we wanna do this for both, after update and form current. Make sure you put the end if there. Now let's give it a try. Okay, it's working. Great. Now let's just make sure when we load the form for this particular response or survey that it works. Okay. Bam, it works. So that's what you do.